Did Fox News just lose one of its most faithful viewers? President Trump taking to Twitter to accuse the network of, I'm quoting now, heavily promoting Democrats. He said that on Twitter, and then he went on to tweet this. The new Fox News is letting millions of great people down. We have to start looking for a new news outlet. Fox isn't working for us anymore. The response came after a Fox News interview with the DNC communications director. CNN chief media correspondent Brian Stelter is here to discuss. All right, so what is so under his skin? <laughs> it's like he's lending credence to all the critics who say right, that Fox that is state-run no TV. Right. right. He's actually saying he believes that, and he wants the network to get in line and to be even more loyal uh, to him. And this, once again, shows a lack of appreciation for journalism. Of course, normally he's attacking this channel or other channels, but mm -hmm. increasingly the president's also attacking Fox. I think with his re-election uh, campaign on his mind, he's thinking about Fox and trying to keep the network in line. He wants to quiet the journalists on the network. He doesn't want to see Democrats interviewed on the network. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to see that. He wants to see his friends and his fans, uh, the Janine Pirro's of the world, constantly. And he does promote them on a daily basis, but he does also continue to, to target Fox. And this is his most blatant admission yet that he views Fox as an organ of the White House. He doesn't want to see Democratic strategists either. Donna Brazil right. is a fairly new hire yeah. who is now on, on Fox, and she had her own explanations as to why she took that job, trying to you know inform the viewers of her point of view and how instructive that would be. He doesn't like that either. No, and he's, he's complained about Brazil, about complained about uh, Juan, Juan Williams, Williams and Shep Smith today. Look, mm -hmm. he, he um, just after the DNC woman was on Fox this morning, a White House spokesman was on Fox. So mm -hmm. uh, the idea even of having two different people from two different parties mm -hmm. is something that's anathema to the president. Uh, oftentimes, uh, these are just impulsive tweets. I don't want to read too much into them, but I, I think he's trying to work the refs. He's trying to work the refs, as he often does, trying to pressure Fox to only mm -hmm. talk about him in favorable ways. And by the way, I did ask Fox for comment on this. And that's what I was going to ask Normally, you. a network work, as CNN has in the past, or NBC, they come out and defend their hosts, mm -hmm. defend their anchors, and mm -hmm. say uh, that it's un unacceptable for the president to attack mm -hmm. news outlets. Fox has declined to comment. And I, I think that's because they're in this bind where mm -hmm. they know their viewers are loyal to Trump, but if uh, and change, they know their shows are if as there's well. A change, what's it, shows. Yeah, what, what's credit or blame if there is indeed a change of, of their approach. <laughs> I think there, I think Fox, like other networks, is thinking about covering the Democratic primary, mm -hmm. trying to cover the Democratic primary. And when the president turns on his favorite channel mm -hmm. and sees them talking about his possible rivals, mm -hmm. he turns to his Twitter feed. So the, the sense of betrayal that the president seems to have, why do you think he feels this way? Where does it come from? His ego. Oh, come on. That's the easy one. <laughs> uh, the, the problem with this is that he is effectively telling Fox viewers to boycott Fox News. Uh, we have to find another outlet, he said. Uh, so that's pretty radical even for him. And what he really means is, I need to have more opinion people who will espouse my opinion because his clash came part of the news department of Fox News Channel and they were simply talking to Democrats because, by the way, Democrats are part of the election that's coming next year, so it's a good idea to talk to their candidates and talk to their party leaders. You mentioned those who opine, and I want to get back to that, but when you, when you read the part of the tweet where he says, Fox isn't working for us, the pronoun us, is, is, is that Trump sort of indirectly acknowledging that he, he thought Fox was an arm of the Republican Party or even an, an arm of his own administration? That's the kind of thing that makes the news department at Fox News, where I worked for a number of years, sick to their stomachs. Uh, news people Why? don't like to hear that sort of stuff. Uh, the entertainment side, on the other hand, is vastly different, and it's a threat to them. He's basic, Trump is basically challenging the Sean Hannity's of Fox News to beat up on the journalists. Uh, that's not going to work either. You, you left in 2017, given what you saw. Do you agree with the president's view that the network, or maybe even some of its hosts, have become an arm of the administration? I think there's no question that conservative television hosts tend to support Donald Trump. Uh, of course, you see Bill Kristol here on CNN, but there isn't a lot of never Trumpers who get a lot of TV time. Unfortunately, the administration, most of the Republicans in Congress, are supporting him, even though most of them understand that Trump's values have nothing to do with the values they grew up in in the Republican Party. You mentioned a second ago the opinion host, and right, we know in the TV world that, that Fox has worked to really distinguish between what's opinion and what's news, sort of daytime versus who we, who we watch at night. But the problem is, Carl, it's, it's difficult for a viewer 
to differentiate that? And, and today, is, is Trump's behavior not the perfect example of this? Oh, sure. And it's not the first time. He complained about Fox polls recently because the Fox polls showed that he was losing some ground. And that was a, a couple of weeks, maybe even a month ago. But there's a new Quinnipiac poll that comes out today that shows that he is down in some serious categories. And in the, for, for the first time in the Quinnipiac poll, he is underwater, as we say, which means people oppose him more than support him and believe now, for the first time in the Quinnipiac poll, that the economy is not going well, it's going worse. Uh, and those are the types of polls that Fox was doing all along. Fox has good polls, and Trump doesn't like it because it doesn't reflect well on him. This is a crybaby president who wants to bully because he can't find solutions. <laughs> On, on that point, you know, one, one thing I can't get over in this era, this climate, is the glaring hypocrisy, right? So you take a news item, you know, a huge scoop in, in the Washington Post today, and I'm going to change the, you know, it would be Trump, but I'm going to say this. If then President Obama actually told aides to take any border land they needed, fast track, a, you know, a border wall for construction, and then he would pardon them if, if they get in trouble, which is, let's just remind everyone, against the law, an abuse of power and an abuse of eminent domain. Fill in the blank for me. Sean Hannity would say... Go for it. Just Sean Hannity would say, go for it. Break the law. He'll, he'll pardon you. If it were uh, President Obama? No, no, no. No, of course, of course not. If no, I'm he, saying, if, if it were, I'm saying, no, flip, that would be treason. flip the, flip the that script. That would be treason and they would Thank lock you. up the entire administration. Of course. Uh, insofar as it's Trump, he's going to say, go for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know that. We're speculating. But the, po the, the point of all of this is that the president has... A, huge disregard for the values of American history and the traditions that have gotten us to the point where he ended up becoming the president. Uh, and he is absolutely devouring them every day. It's a voracious attack on American exceptionalism, America's role as a leader in the world, uh, the equality that American ethos was originally supposed to be born on. Look, there were problems. We had to put in amendments. We had to have a Civil Rights Act in order to stop some of the unequality in this country. But there's always been an effort to progress forward. Trump, Trump's idea of progress is what lines his pockets, and that is not politics.